Another example of the political establishment and specifically the Labour Party lying directly and publicly to the public on the issue of migration. Oh yes, everyone's feeling the threat of the reform uh, rise in the opinion polls. Reform UK and Richard Tice are slowly uh, winning the argument on many issues, not just in terms of the migration and border control, but of course, net zero and the economic recovery. Now, I'm not surprised when I see the so-called conservative politicians and Tory government coming out to give us the same empty promises and lies that, well, we, we are going to fix the border crisis. We really care. I'm not surprised. That goes hand in hand with the whole Tory mentality. But it's funny when you see Labour politicians like Eva Cooper, who I don't understand why she's still around, um, they come and try to give us a fake right-wing populist narrative. She was being interviewed, Yvette, by Laura Kunzberg on the BBC. And she basically, <laughs> she said, under the Labour government, we also believe that we have to bring down immigration and we will bring in a new point-based point uh, migration system. The same point-based model that they've been attacking. They criticised Australia, they criticised the government when they wanted to do, to do this, Prince Patel, because they are absolutely terrified of reform doing well in the red, up in the Red Wall, all those seats that are supposed to go back to the Labour Party because they're entitled to those seats. They are coming on TV and give us empty promises. Laura Kunzberg, this is the question and we're going to get to the answer as well. Last time you were on the programme, Yvette, we asked you whether a Labour government would want to see higher or lower immigration overall. Now, you didn't want to put a number on that then, but would you tell us today higher or lower immigration? Oh, uh, well, so that, that was a good point, Laura May. In the past, she, Yvette Cooper and her party, didn't really want to give a number. Well, maybe it's changed. Well, the net migration figure overall is at unusually high levels at the moment because of uh, Ukraine, because of um, the uh, support for people from Hong Kong, rightly, and also Afghanistan. Oh, now, my God, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. Because of those countries, immigration has gone up. What are you going to do about it? Now, we would expect those numbers to come down in future years, and it is right that they should do so. We've also set out, you've heard Keir Starmer set out proposals around Labour's approach to a points-based system. We think we should have a points-based system, but it should be better linked to action on training and tackling shortages in the economy as well. So Labour would expect numbers to come down if you we were would. in government. When it comes... Oh, 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 OK. So the actual narrative is exactly what the Conservative right of the Tory party and Reform UK and Nigel Farage and all these guys are saying. This is what we say. This is the common sense part of British politics. All we say is, well, I mean, I'm more radical, I go further, because right now we've gone too far and too generous with immigration, not just illegal, even mass legal migration. So my policy is completely halted, stop it, and go negative. We need to remove some people. And by some people, I mean a lot of people. We have to start with removals first. And then we go with what she said. That's what Richard Tice says. That's what Nigel Farage says. That's what everybody else says. If you're going to have a point-based system, make sure it's structured and it's minimized. If you, as I, I always use the example of, if you are desperate as a country and you don't have time within the next few weeks to train a new doctors, for example, you need, you definitely need five doctors right now, then yes, use that system to bring in five doctors from Canada or India or wherever. But that's it. And we are actually going to be talking about uh, tomorrow uh, that the government are doing something extremely dodgy. Richard Sunak is planning to bring in many, many more people into the country, uh, close to a million extra people a year to help with the shortages what shortages when we have more jobs now than people but that's all different arguments anyway but don't listen to these lies we know these lies i mean you guys are smart you know that but the mainstream media are not going to challenge them laura kunzberg just allowed that interview to happen like that she didn't really challenge yvette cooper further the beginning of the question was good she said well but in the past you didn't give us any number 
Is it going to change now? But when Eva Cooper started her rant about the lies that she was giving, Laura Kunzberg said, okay, cool. And thank you for giving us the answer that this, you expect the numbers to go down if Labour are in, in charge. How? When? What? Why? Or does the Labour Party want to bring down the immigration? We know they don't. It will help them to create more voters and to give us that l fake lie of, or well, the fake promise that when people from foreign countries come into the country and you have a Labour government, this is exactly what Gordon, and Gordon Brown and Tony Blair did. They come into the country and the narrative is, we have some very nasty, nasty people in this country. We call them right-wingers. But it's okay because the government, the British government, has this red, ro red rose logo. And this red rose looks very nice and friendly and very welcoming. So you need to say thank you to Mr. Blair for allowing you to come into our country, which means if there's a ne next election, it will be nice if you return the favor and vote for that red rose. This is exact manipulation that's been happening for decades, not just in this country, but even in America under the US Democrats and their rule. And nobody is brave enough to talk about this, but I don't care. I will talk about this because somebody has to actually start a, a proper and honest discussion about the future of our country. Do we actually care about our people anymore? Or are we just gonna surrender to the globalist narrative? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.